This meeting is it's week number six for Claire. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our free six week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in six weeks. Tonight it's Claire. Tell us your great news, Claire. Uh, two pound this week. Which means your total weight loss is 13 pounds. We've got one week That's to go. Right. You are literally going to skip over the finishing line and do it easily, aren't you? Yeah, I shouldn't manage that last bit, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased, really. You've just, you know, you've been so consistent throughout this. I think just uh, my only bad day really was today. Oh, what, <laughs> what happened today? Uh, just that me, um, me son suddenly said, oh, well, I'll, let's go Miller and Carter for dinner. Um, and I was like, oh, OK. And then I got there. And I was like, I haven't got a clue what to have eat. <laughs> I had fish and chips and I had a starter, but I didn't have a pudding. Uh, okay. But I haven't had anything else. I've only had that all day. So it's not too bad, really. Have you been Miller and Carter before? I haven't, no, I've never been before. Did you love it? Uh, and the lady come over to take the orders and I just, I sort of panicked to just pick something quick. <laughs> yeah, nutritionally, you probably would have been better going for a steak if you like steak. Yeah. Do you like steak? I thought about the steak and then I thought, I, oh, I don't know, because I thought I will eat the cooked. And, <coughs> and I just didn't know what to do. So I just picked the first thing I saw. But yeah, well done. That's good. You made a good choice anyway. At least there's some nutrients in the fish. So that's fine. And you went for mushrooms as well. Just opening your food diary. I did, yeah. yeah. And you enjoyed a little gin and tonic as well. I did. I did. But I only had one. So, but then I haven't had anything else. So I didn't have any like breakfast or evening meal or anything. I've just had that. So it's not too bad. And did, uh, have you Oh, yeah. So you've just had an apple. That's the only other thing tracked. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's have a little look at yesterday. So banana for breakfast, pork chop with jacket potato and broccoli and gravy. In the evening, chicken sausage with some Staffordshire oat cakes and cheese. Mm -hmm. And again, bang on the calories. Uh, Saturday homemade pancakes with banana was that a request from the kids yeah. or did you feel like it it was <laughs> yeah it was rivita with eggs and cucumber and then a toby carvery yeah. and an apple a friday porridge a ham sandwich for lunch rivita with egg and beetroot um oh and a nice costa nutty flapjack I did, yeah. I met my friend, so uh, <laughs> she was insisting on Costa. So, but again, it's you know, it's just a couple of little treats through the week, isn't it? It's not every day. So. Four hundred and twenty-five calories for that flapjack. That was scary. Yeah, I looked after. I didn't look at the time, but I looked after, and I was like, "Wow, that's unbelievable." I think but it's probably just because it's. It some point. I think it's probably because it's the nutty one as well. That's probably why it's so high. Right. Um, but fine. Oh, at, least it's got some... like <laughs> <laughs> at least it's got some nutrients in it, though, from the nuts. That's the positive. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, uh, toast for breakfast. Uh, for lunch, chicken sausages with oat cakes and cheese. Uh, and for dinner, jacket potato with pork chops and broccoli. Uh, last Wednesday, eggs for breakfast, oat cakes with sausage and cheese. Were you in the mood for these as soon as you've had them all week or were the kids requesting them? <laughs> I think what, what happens with we like we go in stages of like or liking something, then we'll have it for a few weeks, but then we'll have it like three times a week for three weeks and then avoid it for a few weeks. <laughs> To be honest, when you're tracking, doing things like this is good because you just copy it, don't you? It's ready to go. So. Yeah. Uh, jacket potato with beans and then a banana as a snack. And then the last day is last Tuesday. Uh, toast for breakfast with egg and then a banana. Nothing else tracked. Were you not very well or something? No, I cannot put it on. 
Last Tuesday. I might have missed something like that. Yeah, no, I, did. I had just my normal day, but I can't remember what I had. Cause yeah, I'm just, well, I'm well, guessing it was an oat cake it, yeah. with sausage and cheese. <laughs> it probably was, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't anything terrible. I think I must have just forgot to put it on, so I didn't realise I'd missed one. Yeah, don't worry. And how's your exercise been this week? Uh, not brilliant, if I'm honest. I think that's that's always going to be the, the thing that I fight against, to be fair. Because I just but, ate it. It's just boring. Walking yeah. is boring. Exercise is boring. It's just really, really boring. Now, you've lost 13 pounds, which is nearly a stone. Are you feeling, uh, probably the word is to use, more mobile? Do you feel like you're able to, to move uh, yeah. around easier? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, yeah, and I think I can, I can tell now if I do eat something like a bit more than I should, I can tell that I bet more because like I sort of feel a bit bloated and get a bit of tummy ache. And so on yeah. the days when I have perhaps ate a little bit more than other days, I can actually tell the difference. Great. So this is again, you're you're starting to be able to listen to your body, and it's telling you when you've had too much and stuff. Great. Right. So it is the last week of the course. And, and I did put a little challenge out there in our Facebook group. I don't know. Yeah, I did see the scary yesterday. idea. I did. <laughs> now, because you're so close to the stone, you don't have to do it. However, if you wanted to give yourself a little bit of a challenge this week, you can. How do I you think feel? Maybe me halfway with it. I felt like 800 might be pushing it just a tad, if I'm honest. I felt like I'd do it for a day and then not yeah. do it. So I think maybe to drop it a bit but maybe maybe not quite to that sort of meet in the middle somewhere I think that's probably all right I think what I would like you to do is to um maybe work on eating more fruit and veg okay just to because obviously you're hitting your calories perfect that's great um but again when we've gone through those food diaries just some days you're, you're having your calories from grains. So what I would try and do is try and cut down the grains a little bit and try and get a little bit more fruit and veg okay. in there. Yeah, because, and I think some of it's quite repetitive because I've run out of ideas and I just think, oh, I'll just like have whatever I had the other day and then I can just put yeah. it on the same. So I need to maybe think a little bit more to be fair. So have a look through those meal plans that I shared and just see if there's anything on there okay. that you want to use. And as I said, even if you add those a couple of times a week just to get more fruit and veg in, that will help you lose more weight. So you don't have to eat less calories. We just need to focus on a bit more fruit and veg. And I think that will make you feel better yeah. and increase the weight loss as okay. well. Yeah, I think definitely drinking more water than I ever used to and that's definitely made a difference because I normally have a lot of headaches and I, I just I haven't really had them so you know that's definitely I'm sleeping a bit better as well so that's got to be good I think that's the water to be honest that's great news isn't it that's more ex for me that's more exciting than losing the stone in the month you know getting rid of headaches and sleeping better is just you know it really yeah. does help your lifestyle doesn't it yeah, because you don't feel, if you haven't slept, you don't sort of feel like doing anything the next day. So it just sort of carries on and on, doesn't it? But if you've had a good night's sleep, you're a little bit more motivated. Yeah. And all these, like I asked you about feeling more mobile, just sleeping better, feeling more mobile, this helps you enjoy exercise a little bit more. Because to be honest, this is why I'm a fitness yeah. instructor. So I get paid to exercise because I hate exercising. I'm the same, <laughs> Claire. <laughs> yeah, I just really really boring it's like people I, I see people getting really excited about like i've got a few friends on facebook that do the park runs every week and yeah and they're all like really enthusiastic and i'm just like i'm just not getting it <laughs> gotta be honest <laughs> maybe it's just not my thing you know to be honest i think it's all to do with personality types as well well these people that are really um competitive they obviously love part run because it is a race and they get a time and stuff like that where me yeah. and you are just a bit chilled out aren't we that's our problem yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh i want to win it okay go and win it <laughs> yeah that's, yeah knock yourself out <laughs> oh great right well 
what would you like your goal to be for next week? Um, well, I'd be happy just to do, even if I only did the one, if I'm honest, because that would just take me to that stone thing, wouldn't yeah. it? But obviously, if it could be more, then that's even better. But I would be happy with that because I didn't think I'd get that. So, yeah, if I well, let's have your goal, to, <laughs> your goal to lose one. And as I said, just to try and increase the fruit and veg a little bit more, that would be okay. even better. Okay. Great. Any other questions? No, I don't think so. Thank you. Wonderful. Right. Well done, Claire. You're doing so amazing. And you, you definitely are going to hit the goal next week. So well done. That's brilliant. Thanks very much. All right. See you next week. See you. Bye bye. Bye, Claire. Bye.